We are told that there is a climate crisis and that global average temperature is rising exponentially. This short festive video will show simply and conclusively that the global average temperature is not rising exponentially and it will expose the scam that supports this notion. We have all been scammed. Well, at least I have. Although I have many caveats and perhaps against my better judgment, I accepted that global average temperature is rising at quite a fast rate. Perhaps not exponentially, but quite fast. Websites such as this surely influenced me. And this chart from NASA certainly encouraged my belief. Of course, I had caveats and doubts. I knew there exist many concerns about the coverage of modern record keeping, and in particular, the ability to compare records taken in 2018 with those taken in 1850. The IPCC has recognized these problems, such as spatial coverage of the data is incomplete and varies greatly. Changes have occurred in observing schedules and practices. Changes have occurred in the exposures of thermometers. Stations have changed their locations. Changes in the environment, especially urbanization, have taken place around many stations. We could probably add in wars and civil wars. How many temperature stations do you think there are in Iraq or Syria or Sudan? right now. Not many. I also knew that the number of weather stations that have existed since 1850 is especially relevant when trying to make comparisons of temperature differences between now and 1850. But looking at the numbers highlighted in yellow and light blue, quite a few have existed for only between 40 and 70 years. I also knew that recently the IPCC has started to use the term GMST, Global Mean Surface Temperature. But if we ask what exactly do we mean by that term, it seems there is no general agreement how to answer that question. In fact, no standard has been suggested or generally adopted. I knew all this, but somehow, I still begrudgingly accepted that global average temperature is rising quite quickly. But now, at the very end of 2019, I realise I have been scammed. It did not take any penetration of cyber security to accomplish this scam. When I think about it, it was more a kind of mass hypnosis kin perhaps to the emperor's new clothes, where the emperor used to see a suit where there was none. Now, modern emperors see an exponential hockey stick where there is no hockey stick. I had fallen under these hypnotic influences too. But I had a revelation at the exact time the scam had reached its apotheosis its highest point of influence at COP25, the UN Climate Change Conference, culminating in Madrid at the end of 2019. While watching a clip from the conference on TV, I realised there was an elephant in the room. But it was not the elephant, it was this chart. The chart was proudly displayed on the COP25 website. It had been assembled from the five leading institutions responsible for the collection of global temperature data. And there is a semblance of a hockey stick significant rise. But I started to question this chart, and especially its title. What does mean temperature difference actually mean? What is the relevance of 1850 to 1900, especially since only one institution, Hadgrut, covers the period 1850 to 1880? 
But finally, I understood. It is measuring the difference in global temperature each year against the average of 1850-1900, with that average being set to zero. It is in fact measuring temperature anomalies. As this chart we saw earlier explicitly states. And so does this chart. It will be difficult for you to imagine the joy I feel when watching this chart, as I imagine the number of climate scientists being paid by the taxpayer to produce this just for our benefit. The anomaly method is confirmed by the IPCC, but the period of zero anomaly varies by institution. For example, GISS uses 1951 to 1980. The same site also states that the actual global mean surface air temperature for that period was 57 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius. And then my epiphany arrived. I realized that it is far more normal to report temperature in terms of actual Fahrenheit or actual Celsius, not in terms of anomalies. So I did just that. This chart shows global average temperature from 1850 to 2018 expressed in degrees Fahrenheit. It shows that global average temperature has hovered just below and just above 57 degrees Fahrenheit for the past 168 years, with no sign of a hockey stick. I repeated the exercise with degrees Celsius. It shows global average temperature hovering around 14 degrees Celsius. Again, no hockey stick. Finally, I thought to use the Kelvin temperature scale, as used by scientists, to measure absolute temperatures above an absolute zero. This was even more emphatic. It shows global average temperature barely moving above or below 287 Kelvin. The hockey stick is replaced with an almost straight line. I was now sure I had been scammed, but I wanted to know more, to know how the scam had been accomplished. So I went back to basics. To plot a chart showing temperature changes over time is straightforward. The x-axis can be the time in years and the y-axis can be the temperature. In effect, the chart represents the delta of temperature by the delta of time. If we make time x and the temperature t, it becomes delta t by delta x. Now the scam. The x-axis is as before, but the y-axis is no longer equal to temperature t. A third variable has been thrown in, call it t1, which equals the global average temperature of the anomaly period, so that the y-axis is equal to t minus t1. So instead of this, I get this. Instead of showing the difference in temperature, it is effectively showing the difference of another difference, hence the upward curve. What a simple but highly effective scam. I felt embarrassed that I had fallen for such a trick. I needed to take a long, hard look in the mirror. But I reflected that even someone with as sharp a mind as this lady had been seduced by the chart. So having gained my composure, I will in future ignore charts such as this, in the certain knowledge that this chart much more objectively represents reality. And if, heaven forbid, there is a future gathering of the great and the good at a COP26, they should be aware of the elephant in their room. The scam has been uncovered. The scam was nothing more than sleight of hand 
It was propaganda. George Orwell would have appreciated its artfulness, but would not have approved. The new elephant in the room for any future COP25 conference is this elephant, reality. There were many climate crisis scams during 2019, but the top award for its simple and deadly effective deployment must go to the Great Anomaly Scam. Reporting global average temperature in terms of anomalies instead of absolute temperature wins the 2019 award. The reality is global average temperature is not rising exponentially. This is the reality. Is this a crisis? Happy New Year.